Hey guys, so here I have the Mattel Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Story Packs. So these are the spring ones, so you have two to collect. But in fall there will be another one with Team Moloch. So well, here I've got Claire and the Gyrosphere, and here Owen and Blue. If we take a look at the pack, I mean it's really clever the way they did because you've got the Gyrosphere very visible here. Only thing is that it's not covered by any plastic, so this is a real toy that you can touch. So beware of any marks on the gyrospheres. Here you can see the other half, which is broken. And you can already see that the character is really accurate. Like, I could say fucking accurate, but it's really impressive. And I think this needs to be said because we finally have uh, great characters for Jurassic World. So well, at the back of the packaging, you can see a bit more infos, other dinosaurs to collect. So, well, really cool. And the other one is Owen and Blue. So this one has the jumping action, like the legacy Velociraptor. So only thing which is not really accurate is that the crests here are very visible, contrary to blue in the film. But you have white uh, color around the blue stripe, like in the film, so really cool. And Owen is also very accurate. So well. Let's have a closer look at them. Okay, so here they are. I'll start with the characters. So Bryce Dallas comes first. So well, as I was saying, look at the face and the accuracy of it. It's really, really impressive. I mean, so accurate, like I'm really thrilled. So you can, of course, rotate the head in every direction. You have also articulation on the shoulders elbows so you can really move her arms so quite hard to move these however so i'm not really forcing you also have one here on the torso which is cool and then you've got the hips you also have the knees and well once again a really great attention to details like the boots are accurate i mean it's really really impressive so a great figure of bryce dallas award so i really wish uh, they will give us the version from Jurassic World first movie with the white outfits. Then we have Owen. So once again, as you can see, the face is really nice. I mean, there's not even a comparison possible with the Hasbro version, so really cool. So here you can still rotate the head, the arms. So here you also have a little protection here that you can remove if I'm right. No, you... Yes, you can. Okay, so you can remove the protection here. Like so. You can rotate the torso, move the legs. Once again, the outfit is really accurate. There's a little hole here. I don't really know what it's made for, but anyways, a cool figure. And then we have blue. So as I was saying, it has the jumping function that I'm not an expert of for the moment, as you can see. <laughs> Better. So well, um, a great articulation on the neck, just here, so you can really rotate it. This stripe is accurate because here it stops there, and here you have another one under the eye, so really cool. You can open the mouth to reveal the interior, which is also very detailed. Ball joints on the arms, so you can really rotate them. You can't spread the legs, of course, due to the articulation. Here, the code if you want to scan it. So well, a really cool raptor. Uh, the only thing that I don't really like is that the position, once again, you can't really have it this way. It's obviously looking uh, this way. So you have to put the head this way to make it look great. So well, <laughs> I'm using a lot of the world way, but anyways, you know what I mean. And then the gyrosphere, and I'm really thrilled about this gyrosphere. To me, the only default uh, and the only issue with it is that uh, the plastic is not fully translucent, but actually when you move it, it works like in the film. So if you want to display it broken, you can. If you want to display it unbroken, you can as well. You don't really see the cracks. And well, actually, it's like a hamster ball. So you put it on the side and you can open it. So here we've got the cracked version. And well, let's have a look at the interior. So I'm really thrilled, as you know, I'm like a psychopath for the accuracy of vehicles. And here it's really accurate, like even this part 
is accurate. Like the black part, they have the right details as well there. And even at the back, you can see the LEDs in the film that are there. I mean, it's really impressive. Not many screws, so that's great as well. And actually, I'm pretty sure uh, if you want to put it in a very translucent plastic, you can remove the screws there and just put it in another classic plastic bowl. And well, of course, you can fit the characters inside here. So it's quite easy and you can really like make these scenes of the movie. So really cool. And well, you can put it back this way and go on an adventure. So really, really cool figure. So well, if you have any questions or requests about these vehicles and the story packs in general, don't hesitate to contact me on my pages.